Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to share with you my experience with the Timu Glow in the Dark yarn. It's my first order from Timu and I ordered this glow in the dark yarn and it does actually glow in the dark. I made sure. It kind of has a green tint to it and it it's not quite a worsted weight yarn but I'm going to crochet it with it I don't know it might it's, it's pretty thin so we will see how it holds up to the other number four yarns that I have but I have decided that I'm going to do a lightning bug pattern with this um, so let me go ahead and work that up and I will share with you the end result so I am going to use the Firefly pattern from Teresa's Crochet Shop that I found on Etsy. And I'm going to be using the I Love This yarn uh, in black with a four millimeter hook. And I'm going to go ahead and start working this up. The link for the pattern and the link for the glow in the dark yarn will be in the description below. Okay, so I have done two rows of this so far. It is a little bit harder to work with than just the regular acrylic yarn. And this package, it doesn't give me much instruction on what it's made of or how much there is. All it says is, do not expose to sun after it's been washed. So I'm guessing you probably shouldn't wash this that'll probably wash out all of the glow in the dark aspect of it. But the four millimeter hook seems to be doing okay, even though close together, these are definitely not, well, I don't know, on camera it kind of looks the same, but it's definitely smaller. So I'm gonna work up the rest of this lightning bug. Okay, so I've got the little light bulb done. Uh, it was very hard to work with. There's no give. Um, it's very stiff, but if you don't care if it's hard to work with the yarn, then I haven't had any issues with it. And it looks like it worked up just as nicely as the worsted weight yarn with the four millimeter. Looks like it flows well. Um, I just need to weave in my ends, finish it off. And then I'm gonna go ahead, make the wings and the antennas. We're going to finish off this firefly and then we're gonna go test it out and we're gonna go in the room in my house that gets completely dark. So I'll let that sit in the sun, sun, cause it's very cloudy out here, but we'll let it kind of soak up some of that sun juice. And I'll see you when I get the lightning bug done. Okay, so I am done with the lightning bug and he turned out super cute. I decided to go with the green eyes to kind of match his green glow in the dark body. And he's got six little legs. Okay, so now the test. I am in the room where there is no windows. So let's see how well he glows in the dark. see it kind of on camera okay so that is the glow in the dark yarn I I don't know how much I'm gonna actually be using it because it was just really hard to work with especially when you get down here to the really close stitches it reminded me of a cotton yarn and it might be cotton, I don't know. I don't know the contents of it. There it is. I will definitely use it again. Maybe make an alien or a ghost. Halloween is coming up. So that is the glow in the dark yarn and the lightning bug. 
Okay, I will see you all next time.